Hey there, Dr. Luke Latreet from the Pain and Wellness Group. Uh, we went ahead and put together a series of videos uh, for anybody that's suffering with neck pain, upper back pain, uh, or even numbness and tingling in the fingers. So uh, watch these videos, uh, make sure you do them at least two to three times on each side and hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so this exercise, we're gonna work on stretching out some of the cervical muscles, uh, definitely the ones down the side through here. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna kind of reach up here. Now I'm not gonna pull hard, but I'm just gonna try to bring my ear over to my shoulder, add a little pressure here to get some of that stretch down this right side. To add a little bit more, I'm gonna take my right hand, and I'm gonna reach back behind my back, and then I'm gonna add that stretch in a little bit more. Just trying to breathe. Relax, let that muscle stretch. All right, so this stretch is gonna be for the trapezius back here. Just to start, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna look about 45 degrees. I'm gonna to start to look down, I'm gonna bring this hand up and I'm gonna add a little stretch right through here. We're stretching right back through here through this area. Okay, to make it a little bit more aggressive if you'd like, you can bring this arm up, lock that shoulder blade down like this and then again, look 45 degrees, start looking down, add a little stretch in through here, and that kind of amplifies the stretch. Again, breathe, let everything relax, come on back to neutral. Okay, so this exercise is going to be for stretching out through the pecs and through the chest, trying to open up these shoulders again. Okay, so in a doorway here, you can put your elbow right up here, and now I'm just gonna try to walk through it Breathe, let this shoulder open up. Feel that stretch through the chest here. If you're having a hard time getting the stretch through here and you need to go a little bit more with it, what I like to do is, I'll show you on this side, come with my hand here, hook against the door, walk through it, get a little stretch there, and then turn my body away. And as I turn away, I get that stretch through here. Now you can change angles if you'd like to come up a little bit higher and turn away you feel it a little bit lower down through here and the same from coming down lower and turning away getting the stretch through here okay so this is going to be an exercise for our head and neck area um, a lot of us from sitting working at the computer or whatever our head has brought out in front of our shoulders so we need to work to bring that back so this is called a chin retraction so I'm just going to turn to the side just so that way you can get a good view of what I'm doing. So starting out here like this, what I want to think about is just sliding my head back, tucking my chin in, hold for about five seconds, and then relax. Really trying to slide that head back. I'm not looking up, I'm trying to keep my eyes nice and level, just sliding that head back this way and hold. So this next exercise is gonna be an isometric exercise, uh, continuing to work for strengthening up the neck uh, musculature. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna bring my hand up to the side of my head. Now I'm not really pushing myself, but I'm gonna hold it there. Push, and just hold that contraction for about five seconds, and then let everything relax. Same thing on the other side, bring my hand up, press against, hold for about five seconds, let it relax. One thing I want to note is try not to let that shoulder pop up this way. Keep that shoulder down out of your ear and then press into and hold. 